Hello, 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 everyone. This is Maria Shell, High Priestess of the Temple of the Divine Spirit. Today is May 23rd, 2024, and we are experiencing a full moon in the sign of Sagittarius. It is also the beginning of Gemini season. And so we're going to be taking a look at the tarot and oracle to see what advice it has to give to us during this time. This reading will be a general reading for the collective. So I ask that you listen with your mind and your heart to use your own intuitive guidance to uh, garner any messages that you might be able to from this reading. And if this reading does not speak to you, then please leave it behind. And I wish you many blessings. In the meantime, I've selected a few decks for us to go through here today and get a full moon message for the sign of Sagittarius. And we will begin with the angel oracle. This lighting is horrible. I apologize. I have tried to get it to be better. Let's see if that's... No, that just made it worse. All right. <laughs> mm, Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Valiente. So I've already pre-shuffled these cards, but I'm going to give it one more shot. And then we will take a look at what our angels... Our spirit guides are trying to tell us in this moment. Ah, playfulness. You know, I think that the world is a really heavy place right now. And we have been going through a lot of astrological heaviness as well. Uh, we've had an eclipse season, including a total solar eclipse we have also had um, many, many different conjunctions occurring. And of course, there's always the ever-present Mercury backward, forward, backward, forward. So um, now is the fullness of spring. And we are being encouraged to find our playful side, to reach out to friends, to family, and to get out of the house to do something creative, something beautiful, um, and to lighten up a little bit, to embrace our inner child and to allow yourself to take a break from the seriousness of the everyday world and get back to your spirit, which is in essence a playful being. So I think that's a wonderful card to start off our reading this evening. Now I'm going to be taking five cards from the Goddess Oracle deck. And this is absolutely one of my favorite decks. I've been working with this deck so long. I was uh, gifted the, de the original deck by my mother before her passing. And um, since that time, uh, I had used them so much that before an event, one of the cards actually sheared in half and I had to order a brand new deck. So this is the newer version, smaller, lighter, but no less beautiful. Uh, the second they came out of the package, I just knew that I loved them and would continue to work with them. So I'm going to be doing an elemental reading tonight. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at our earth, air, fire and water houses. And I'm going to put a fifth card in the middle as a wrap up. So let's see what spirit has to offer us today. Uh, in our earth house, relationships. And you notice that the lady of beasts is surrounded by all of the creatures of nature. You can see that her breasts are full and her belly is burgeoning with life. Yeah. Um, now is the time to focus on our relationships with our home, our family, and our close personal friends. To pull back in, to allow us to uh, remember 
who is important in our lives and to make them a priority. As we are watching, walking this spiritual path, um, we often feel alone, but we are never alone in the world. Uh, we are always supported by Source Creator, and we always have people in our corner cheering us on if only we look around long enough to see it. So that's our earth house. In our water house, uh, we have belief, beliefs. Minerva. Minerva is a beautiful goddess of wisdom. Uh, my cat, my familiar, is actually named Minerva, and we call her Minnie for short. You notice that she is wearing a helm on her head made of owl wings, which shows the wisdom that she carries. And she is appearing in our emotional house, reminding us that we get to decide which beliefs are for us and which ones do not speak to our heart. We are daily being programmed by the world around us. And when we step out of our comfort zone in order to own our own sovereignty, our own spiritual mission, there are a lot of haters and naysayers out there trying to tell us how to live our lives. But no one knows better how to be you than you do. This is a time to begin to examine your beliefs. What is it that you believe is important? And why is it that you believe that? Is it your belief that is holding that up as a priority? Or is that a belief that was instilled by others? So yeah, take a look at that during this full moon season. In our air house challenge. <laughs> I think this ties perfectly in line with the beliefs card because anytime we take a look at our beliefs and assess whether or not they belong to us, we are challenging ourselves to step outside of the norm. A lot of the things that are happening in the world are beyond our control. And yet when we look at the impact that we as individuals can be making for our own happiness, to build and bond relationships of love, of trust, of community, to shift our beliefs into a place of harmony and community and peace. That is a challenge. And so um, take a look at what it is that's playing on your mind right now. See if any of the voices in your head are not in alignment with you and what your true calling is at this time. Fire. Oh, <laughs> I love this card, Oshun. Mm. Oshun is from the islands. Uh, she is a water goddess, very obviously. She represents sensuality. And this is one of the areas that I think we uh, ignore in our firehouse. So sensuality is different than sexuality. Sensuality is using our five senses to embrace life, to enjoy the sights and the smells and the tastes and the feelings that living this human existence provides for us. And I think this also ties in with our playfulness card because we get so wrapped up in the practical everyday life that we forget to just stop, to use our senses to experience life. And Oshun is calling to you at this time, mother goddess, moon goddess, right? Because uh, moons are all about feminine energy. 
about looking within, about nurturing, about exploring the shadow side of our existence. Also a challenge, right? Um, but we're being encouraged to stop and smell the roses. To have meals with the people that we care about. To share in the taste of friendship and love. Um, and I think that all mankind, because of mirror neurons, needs this sort of activity and behavior right now. We have become so isolated, uh, doom scrolling on our phones, working overtime, uh, adding activity ac after activity. Action is a masculine energy, and there's nothing wrong with that. We need action, otherwise we would sit on the sofa and rot, right? But it must be balanced with the energies of uh, grace of healing, of compassion, of friendships and love and nurturing and understanding. And in that way, these moons give us an opportunity to tap into our feminine side, to set those actions to the side and to reflect just as the moon reflects off of the water's surface. Finally, we have our fifth card, our mystery card. Oh, illusion. <laughs> Maya, illusion. Uh, illusion is not always placed on us by other people. Sometimes illusion is the lie that we keep telling ourselves to keep us from stepping into our highest purpose and power. And I want to throw a couple of extra cards on that. So we're going to be consulting the tarot here. I have this beautiful shapeshifter tarot deck, which I used in my last reading. Uh, this one also was a gift from my mother. Um, she and I both have uh, Irish roots, Scottish roots. And so the Celtic tradition speaks to us well. And I'm just going to pull a couple, three cards here. We'll see. What spirit wants us to see? Ooh, about this illusion card. Thank you, spirit. Uh, too many. Too many. Oh, thank you. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune out. Let's see. One more spirit. Give us one more. One more. Okay. Thank you, spirit. On the bottom of the deck, we have the goddess of air. You are the queen of your thoughts. You do not need permission to think, believe, know, and adapt to your own soul's energy. And so now is the time for you to do that. And even though it will be a challenge, now is the time to step away from illusion. Gaining knowledge. Um, Major Arcana, the five of knowledge. Um, I think this is the Hierophant in a normal deck. And um, you're being asked to take a look. You see this elephant that she is shape-shifting into? Uh, there's an old saying that says, elephants never forget. And the star shining above our heads is illuminating those parts of ourselves that have always known who we truly are. Um, we are star seeds. And it is only through the conditioning of the real, uh, the uh, 3D paradigm that we believe any differently. And so you are being encouraged to study, to learn, and to reflect on what it is your thoughts and beliefs have been um, putting in your way, blocking you, and to cast those aside and become the star that you were meant to be. We also have the wheel of fortune or the circle, as it's known in this deck. 
Many, many opportunities are coming your way at this time, but you will need to take your belief blinders off in order to see the possibilities for what they are. You'll notice that your hand is on the wheel and that you get to spin and decide which energies you are embracing at this time. And you are being supported by many, many animal spirits. And here in just a second, we are going to take a look at the Animal Spirits Oracle Deck for further advice. The Seeker of Water. You are on a heart journey. You are being called and probably feel deep within you a call to really follow your heart's desire. Instead of allowing your old thoughts, beliefs, and opinions to get in the way of your sovereignty and highest purpose. And this card is an absolutely beautiful blessing. Uh, seekers are the page in a normal cup. So this can also mean messages coming to you at this time. Um, this shapeshifter is also a hawk, uh, which is another bird of wisdom, of uh, intuition, and a freeing of the mind in favor of the heart. So I think that's a beautiful card to receive in that position. All right. I'm going to read this Moonology deck. I absolutely love these little things. I saw them online because I do um, binge content sometimes. And I love to watch other tarot readers and see if I can get out of my own zone and hear some messages for, from the divine uh, in those readings. And ooh, there's one. And I do have a couple of favorites that I go to when I am in need of a little guidance and assistance. So, and if you haven't checked out Swimming Through the Void, this is not a plug, but I absolutely love his readings. Also, um, the Dove and Serpent Tarot is excellent. Let's see if Spirit's got anything else to tell us. All right, on the bottom of the deck adjustments are required well i guess so because that's what this whole reading has been about hasn't it and also the card that flipped out for us is we need to make a practical plan full moon and taurus and we are just ending the taurus season so this seems appropriate we have big ideas we have big dreams um we want to step outside of our old beliefs and thought patterns, and yet maybe we're not quite sure how to do that. Um, instead of second-guessing yourself, put that brain to work on formulating a plan for the future already. Uh, what kind of changes are you going to be making in your life to rid yourself of old thoughts, habits, or behaviors? What sort of new practices can you be bringing into your mind and heart um, so that your daily life and your magical practice become more fulfilling at this time? All right. As a wrap up today, we are going to do uh, Spirit of the Animals. Woo. Oracle deck. <laughs> There we go. Spirit of the Animals Oracle Deck. I absolutely love this. And that should be uh, giving us our confirmation or our affirmation for this reading. And that will be a wrap. So uh, one more shuffle of these beautiful cards and we will get to it. Uh -huh. White Stag. White style, beautiful, noble, magical creature. And the key word here is protector. And it says on the bottom, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. 
You are meant to create blessings with your magic. So white stag. Mm, I'm feeling that white stag energy as the white full moon comes into view. This is powerful energy at this time. Gemini is all about the twins, all about each side of us and how we find a balance in duality. And um, it looks like we're being called to do some self-examination during this time. I know I certainly have. Um, thank you for viewing this reading. I hope that you found it helpful. Uh, blessings to you going into the Memorial Day weekend. And tune in with me next week when I will be offering another Tarot from the Temple reading for the collective. In the meantime, I'm Maria Schell. I love you like mad. And I will see you in sacred space. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.